What's happening guys? Welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesday here on the channel. Today we're talking about optimized media and one of the new features here that they have in DaVinci Resolve 17 regarding the optimized media. All right, so if you're familiar with it, you kind of know what it does and how it works. But if you're not familiar with it, optimized media basically creates pre-rendered files that your computer can use to kind of take some of the load off of your computer having to process the files as you play through them, right? So maybe you're working in 4K and your computer's dogging, it's running real slow or whatever. So you can create optimized media files, which are basically pre-rendered files. Usually, well, they're not always a little smaller. It depends on what codec you pick, but they should help it play back smoother and help you be able to work with it easier on your computer. Now, previously, optimized media files had to be created in every single project. So you'd go in your project, you create your optimized media files, and then when you were done, you could delete them directly in that project. Well, in DaVinci Resolve 17, they kind of changed things around a little bit. And with your optimized media, it can now be used in multiple projects. So let's say I've got a clip of, uh, me, you know, whatever, me talking. I do the optimized media in one project. Well, if I go into another project and I use that same video clip, DaVinci Resolve is going to automatically find the optimized media that was already created. So that's so sweet because A, optimized media starts to take up a lot of space over time, especially if you forget to delete it. And uh, B, it saves you the time of having to create the optimized media because that takes a lot of time, depending on the size of your files and you know whether it's 4K or whatever it might be, that can take a long time to create those files just to begin with. So now in DaVinci Resolve 17, the fact that you don't have to create it multiple times if you use the same kind of clips over and over again, that's pretty sweet. And you don't even have to worry about where do I find them, what do I do with them or anything like that because DaVinci Resolve does it all for you. But there is one little catch that you do need to know about and that is that the projects that you're using the video clip for, which you've created the optimized media for, they all have to be in the same database. So I don't know how you guys set up your databases. For me, I just have one big database with all my stuff in it so far. And I mean, it hasn't gotten too unmanageable. I've got a couple years worth of YouTube videos, a bunch of other projects for clients and things like that. And one database seems to work out okay. So if I'm gonna share, you know, optimized media between projects with particular clips, it's not a big deal for me. So keep that in mind. You can't go across databases, but you can go in any project you want within the same database. So that's important to know. The other thing that's important to know is that when you used to try and delete that optimized media, because let's say you did your project and you don't need gigs and gigs of files sitting around anymore, right? So you go ahead and you delete it. Well, you used to be able to do that. I believe it was through the playback menu. And let's jump into DaVinci Resolve here real quick, and I'll just show you where it used to be, in case you're familiar with it. So looking in DaVinci Resolve here, you used to come up to playback, and I think it was right up in here, you used to have uh, delete optimized media. Um, and right now, there's nothing there. So how do you get rid of that optimized media? Let's say you don't need it anymore, and you don't want to take up all this space on your computer. What do you do about that? Well, in order to delete that optimized media, you actually have to go into, you know, uh, whether it's Finder or uh, Windows Explorer or whatever, go in and delete that optimized media. Now, you're not going to be able to tell which ones go with which projects from what I understand. I haven't tried it too much because generally I don't use optimized media. You know, my stuff's easy enough uh, for my computer to work with. I don't need it. But you have to go in and delete that optimized media manually. So if you're not sure where that optimized media is, let's jump into Resolve. I'm going to show you how to find it real quick. So in order to see where the optimized media is, you want to come to your project settings. So you click on the little gear icon here down at the bottom right, or you can go to file and project settings, bring this guy up over here. So if I want to know where all those optimized media files are going, come under master settings here. You want to scroll down and right here, you've got your optimized media and render cache. So this is the type of files that you are saving for your optimized media. Keep that in mind. But when you come down to the next section, we have working folders. So your optimized media is going to be stored in the cache files location. Now you do have the option for each project to set this where uh, wherever you want it to go. For example, I use an external hard drive, but right here it just says cache clip. So how do I know where that is? Well, if you set this by yourself, you can click on browse here and it should tell you where it is. But if you just see cache clip like I see here, I'm gonna show you how you can find out where that is. So go ahead and cancel out of this. And you actually wanna come up to DaVinci Resolve at the top, come on down to preferences. And if you take a look here under system, media storage, you're gonna see a volume or drive right here. So that is my default location for where I put all of those cache files. So for each project, I don't have to set it individually. It's gonna to default to this location. And if I wanna change it for a specific project, I would change it at the screen we were just at in the project settings. So you wanna to navigate to wherever this is telling you to go. And that's gonna be where your optimized media files live. So for me, just jumping over my external hard drive, Samsung T5 SSD, 
I've got DaVinci Resolve working files and cache clip. And that's where my optimized media would be saved. Now, keep in mind, I don't use optimized media because generally I don't find the need to. Um, I don't want to spend the time to do it. And my computer seems to run OK without doing it. So I don't create the optimized media. Everything that you see in this folder now is just the cache clips from uh, things like uh, the color grade or when you see that little red bar or the blue bar above uh, your clips. Well, that's where it kind of stores all this cache file stuff. But your optimized media is also going to be stored in here. So you'd want to go in and you can just delete all that stuff because if Resolve needs it, it's going to go ahead and create it again automatically anyway. And one other thing to know is that now in DaVinci Resolve 17, not only do we have optimized media clips, but we also have proxy media. So be sure to come back next week and check out Quick Tip Tuesday to see what's the difference between the new proxy media and the optimized media because we got a difference there. So we'll talk about that then. But this is just some new info here about the optimized media, which allows you to use it back and forth between projects. It's pretty sweet and it's really going to save you some time if you're using the same clips over and over again. Maybe you got B-roll you use for stuff or whatever and you want to use it in multiple projects and they're all in the same database. You can just create that optimized media once and you're good to go. DaVinci Resolve is going to do all that behind the scenes stuff of linking it up, finding it, bringing it into your project. So that way the playback is better on your computer. So that's it. Just another new awesome feature here in DaVinci Resolve 17. Hope you guys found this tip helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Hit the like button if you thought this video was helpful. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.